Bulgaria is a country of extremes. Whilst there's plenty of money in the cities, it's a very different picture in the countryside. Many of Bulgaria's mentally and physically disabled children live in the bleak world of state institutions. These abandoned children rock endlessly through each day just for something to do. Ellie has cerebral palsy, like many of the children in the institutes. The difference is that she was not abandoned. In stark contrast, Ellie has had the support of those offering a vision of hope to children with disabilities. You've had Maggie as your physiotherapist for 10 years, 10 and a half years? Mm, 11. 11 years. Is she like a best friend to you? Yes. Yeah. You seem to have a fantastic connection. You're very lucky. She's wonderful, isn't she? Wonderful woman. What was the when you think of Maggie and you remember and you think what she's done for you, what thoughts do you have about Maggie? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I want to thank her about what she has done. Yeah. Karen Dom provides a training and resource centre for children with special needs and their families as well. Their vision is to see this kind of provision replicated throughout Bulgaria to help prevent more children being abandoned. The dedicated and professional staff work with children with physical and mental disabilities, offering each child an individual therapy plan. Abandonment is not the answer for the life of a disabled child. Karen Dom has recently adopted a training program to help educate medical professionals and parents on a viable and practical alternative. Unlike those placed in the silent and isolated world of institutions, these children are treated as valuable members of society. Just like any other child, Ellie has dreams and ambitions for her life. Yet without the kind of physical and emotional support that she has received from Karen Dom, she would have given up believing in herself. 
Ellie was one when she and her mother first came to Karen Dom. She is one of the lucky ones and has made extraordinary progress over the last 11 years. Many children with cerebral palsy and other disabilities are placed in institutions where there is little expectation for them to achieve any kind of physical or mental independence. Ти си говорим, помагай ти. Да. Радвам се, мила. Ми ти си ми като дъщеря, истината е такава. Благодаря. Ми да, аз те познавам от бебе. Разбираш ли, знам ти почти целия живот от една годишна възраст до тук. Как се състикли. И като се има предвид, че аз ти казвам някои други работи. Да, тайни. Ели е сега тинейджер и живе в дома с мъдър мъдър. Integrated into mainstream school, she is well on the way to being able to lead a fully independent life. Ellie still goes to Karen Dom regularly and continues to have her physiotherapy with Maggie. Without Karen Dom, Ellie may never have learned to speak, walk, or even have a chance of a normal life. <laughs> <laughs>